Can I say with respect to my right honourable friend that from what I have heard and seen so far of this policy, I do not support the removal to Rwanda policy on the grounds of legality, practicality and efficacy. But I want to ask her about one very specific issue. I understand that those who will be removed will only be young men, that families will not be... Uh, well, the Home Secretary is shaking her head, so I've obviously misunderstood the policy in that sense. But if it is the case that families will not be broken up, and the Home Secretary is nodding, does she not believe, and where is her evidence, that this will not simply lead to an increase in the trafficking of women and children? Mr Speaker, I'm very happy to meet with the Right Humble Lady to discuss this further and actually give her further information on this. So, actually, calm down and listen. I think, first and foremost, just on the policy, the policy is legal, and there's been a published MOU that speaks very, very clearly. Very clearly. Well, you're not even listening, so there's no point. There. Um, it spells out the MOU very clearly in terms of the legal... If you're interested in listening to responses, and please do, um, that, that there, is, there is an MOU that has been published which spells out in full detail the legalities, but also the nature of the agreement. Now, I think the right honourable lady would respect the fact that I'm not going to come to the floor of the House and speak about the eligibility criteria, because she will know. Because, actually, if I may say so, Mr Speaker, the, the right honourable lady will know very, very well that actually it's that type of criteria criteria that is used by the smuggling gangs to then effectively exploit various loopholes in our existing laws when it comes to various issues such as legal action that is undertaken to prevent removals, some of which, if I may, Mr Speaker, just add, there are many members opposite that write letters to me frequently to say, please don't remove some of the failed asylum seekers, but also foreign national offenders, people that have actually got no legal basis to remain in our country. But I'd be happy to meet with the right on the lady.